Ashley said earlier, the forecast a complete bust for some people. Yesterday it sure was because I tell you what, I uh, went to Cumberland yesterday and I crossed the mountain and it was barely 58, 59 degrees up there and even in the valleys it was about that cool. So I mean, some places got into the 70s as expected, but some places did not even make it to the 60 degree mark. So it was uh, a very odd day yesterday. Hopefully we can rebound and get back on track today. We will see some patchy fog this morning as we hand out the door, but I do think for the most part uh, we're in good shape for the morning commute, but of course the rain chances do return later today, but I think we could see some sunshine at times today as well. All right. Light pinpoint Doppler radar is nice and quiet this morning. Not much to tell you about here, <coughs> excuse me, at 512. Good morning to you on this Wednesday midweek and things are looking pretty good so far. Let's go over to temperatures for you this morning. We are at 54 in Hindman, Hazard, 55 in Hyden this morning. It's about 56 up toward uh, Pikeville as you head out the door this morning. It's 54 Prestonsburg, Sagersville over toward Jackson this morning as well. 52 Canton, 55 up toward Inez, 56 in Pikeville, as we mentioned, 56 in Phelps, 54 over toward Prestonsburg, and 56 in Whitesburg. Let's go on down the road a little bit, 53 in Somerset, 55 in London, 52 Mount Vernon and McKee. It is 54 down toward William. Whitley City and Barberville, 58 Middlesbrough and 57 in Harlan going through the first part of your day. Almanac 613 sunrise, sunset at 850, 87 year record high set back in 2002, tied in 2010, 51 the record low set back at 86. We have a full moon, a lot of folks can't see it, but it is full. It became full yesterday at morning about 1119. Travel forecast, I know some folks are still in school, been talking to some folks this week who are still in, but a lot of folks already out. So green line, I think for the most part the fog is not too bad this morning so we're going to continue to watch that mid 50 75 this afternoon i'm going to put the yellow line on because it looks like we're going to see showers and storms likely especially right around five o'clock so keep that in mind as you travel some fog cloud cover trying to dissipate a little bit so that's why i'm cautiously optimistic that we'll see a little bit of sunshine early today that low pressure that is churning up the east coast is going to throw rain back at us so instead of our usual pattern going from west to east it's actually going to go from east to west today so the mountain counties right there along the Kentucky, Virginia, Tennessee, West Virginia borders will see the best chance at the rain, but we all have a chance for it as we go deeper into the afternoon. Let's take a look at it on Future View. We go through the morning commute, not too bad there. We go on into the daytime hours. We will continue to see that rain pushing back at us. So again, Future View trying to get us all into the 70s today. So that's some better news than yesterday. As we go deeper in the night, the rain showers start to die down going into Thursday. Guess what? Here they come again. More chances for rain as we go deeper into Thursday afternoon, especially in the heat of the day. And as we get to Friday, Friday actually looking a little better. We might even see some uh, very minimal chances for that, but there is some light at the end of the tunnel on the seven day forecast. You see Friday there going deeper into the night could pick up a little bit, but uh, I think there is some uh, relief on the way next week. Let's take a look at the 12 hour planner. Again, I think we're dry for most of the first part of your day. We get to our high early right around 75 and the rain chances and the cloud cover will keep us right there kind of uh, stabilized throughout most of the day. 80 tomorrow, we'll see chances for rain there, a few storms on Friday. But here's the thing, Tuesday has the chance for spotty storms in the afternoon, but even with that 30% chance, I do think it'll be a mostly sunny day for the most part. Keep your uh, fingers crossed on that one. Hopefully once we get to Wednesday, we'll get out of this pattern, but uh, been locked into a kind of a very soggy pattern here lately, but uh, hit or miss enough that we're not getting enough rain for those folks who uh, need it. Let's go over now to our first check of the refrigerator this morning. See what we have for you there behind the magnets on refrigerator art. Nice little picture coming into us there from over at Harlan Elementary School. Just got these yesterday from Ray Lynn. We appreciate that. She's enjoying a beautiful day and enjoying summertime temperatures almost. If we get back into some nicer weather later on this week, the time now is 5.15. Good morning. You're watching Mountain News this morning right here on WYMT.